Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to share all the perfumes that I wore last week. Um, so I think it's a series I want to start like just sharing whatever I wear the previous week. It kind of gives you know an idea of how long these perfumes last and you know I'm a very nosy person. I love watching uh, other YouTubers uh, share whatever they wore the week before. So if you are into these kind of videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. I have the notification bell turned on so you are notified every time I upload a video. And I just wanted to give out a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to my channel recently. Um, everyone that always leaves me a comment. I really, really appreciate it. Like I, like I love interacting with everyone. Like, and I love, like, you guys, like, give me recommendations and stuff like that, and feedback, you know. Like, I really enjoy that. So, please just leave me a comment what you're wearing today, if you have any of these perfumes. And, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So, what I wore within the last week was uh, Armani. This is Armani My Way. I've been looking so forward on wearing this perfume because, like, it's the perfect uh, spring perfume. And right now, uh, where I live, it's like warm, but it's not like humid yet. And it will jump so quickly for it to get humid here. And once it's humid here, forget about it. Like, you have to wear like fresh citrusy perfumes. And I have noticed that very fresh citrusy perfumes, I love them, but they're so sharp to my nose that I can get like really like irritated sinuses that they get really swollen. So, yeah, uh, this one is just a perfect tuberose perfume. I will always, always put the notes right here. Um, perfect bubble gummy tuberose. They have the intense version. They just came out with, I think, a floral version. I have not smelled that one before. I have smelled the intense version, and the first time I smelled it, it was almost too nauseating to me. Then I smelled it again, and I really liked it, but I don't think I need to get it if I have this one already. Uh, I think they're very similar, um, so the longevity is really great on this one. Uh, I have not really gotten any compliments wearing this one. Um, I can smell it on me throughout the day. Um, I haven't worked, like I said, I haven't gotten any compliments wearing this one. Well, one time, but that was last year. Um, but overall, I think it's a very pretty feminine perfume. Great time for this of the year. And yeah, Amani, my way. So the next one I wore was from uh, Clean. This one is Clean Reserve and this one is Clean Skin. I don't know if the camera will pick it up because it's so bright here. So this one is an Eau de Parfum. It's um, a floral musky perfume. It has praline in there. It has salt in there. I think it has leather in there. But not like gross like leather where you think like, oh no, it's nasty. Um, it's just so hard to describe. but. It's like a sweet but not like not like a gourmand sweet or anything like that if you've ever smelled it before you don't like it it happened to me I didn't like it the first time I smelled it then I tried it again because everybody was talking about it I sprayed it on my hand and then I absolutely fell in love with it and I bought it immediately um, this one reminds me a lot of Escada Magnetism without that like green note I love Escada Magnetism but I cannot do that green note something about that green note I just can't do um, the longevity is good, but it's definitely something that's much more closer to your skin. Um, you will get whiffs of it throughout the day, uh, but it will not like leave like a huge scent bubble around you. Uh, somebody that gets close to you will definitely smell this one. Um, and this one, like, it's like a clean perfume. Like I've noticed um, that I've just have sinus problems. I went to the doctor. She looked up in my nose, and I'm completely swollen up. And she thinks it's allergies, but I'm also scared that it's perfume, to be honest with you. So I have to, like, really stop over spraying. And I cannot wear perfume every day anymore. It's It sucks because I love perfume. It's my passion. It makes me happy. It's my hobby. But I just can't wear it every day. I have to give my nose a break sometimes. And uh, the great thing with this one, it's not, like, strong or sharp in my nose. It has clean ingredients for the most part. Um, so I definitely want to check out more from this brand. So Clean Reserve Skin. And I think they have, like, different ones. A little bit confusing. Like, uh, different bottle ones where it does not say, like, Reserve. So I, I don't know about that. I don't know if they smell the same or anything like that. So 
so yeah so uh, obviously uh mother's day it was uh last sunday and i was like you know what it's mother's day i want to wear something really really special so i was able to get my hands on a sample of uh mason francis kirk Deshawn, oud satin mood uh, a really nice lady at Nordstrom gave this sample to me and I was so happy uh, so I used this one time and I'm not gonna spray it because this one is expensive and I just don't want to spray it just because so I've, I've over sprayed this one which I should have not I should have known better so I've used half of this and uh, I always sprayed it so much to the point where I got so nauseous in the car where I almost had to like get out of the car. So um, I'm gonna, whenever I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use it lightly and I can probably definitely get like a couple more uses out of this one. It will last you for a very long time. Um, and it's the only oud that I really really like. It's like a oudy vanilla rose perfume. Um, definitely, um, I don't think it's a safe blind buy. Uh, I would definitely like get a sample of this one. And I've seen people on Mercari like selling these for like $40. I'm like, are you guys crazy? You get this for free uh, with a purchase or if you ask. And then you trying to make some coins off of it like that is not right that is not right um so i will definitely um treasure this sample right here so yeah my camera cut me off again of course because i talk too much um so yeah one day i want to get the full bottle but uh, right now i cherish the sample that i have um so the next perfume i wore is uh, dolce gabbana light blue intense and i've had this for a very well two years and you know what it's time for me to go through this and it's so nice it's like the perfect uh hot summer like perfume i'm pretty sure most of you have smelled this before it's like a very heavy citrusy musky perfume i think it has apple notes in there as well it actually lasts for a pretty decent time days later i could still smell it in my hair i could still smell it on my clothes um that i washed and yeah it's actually pretty decently on the longevity i've noticed and yeah really great perfume very classy perfume i mean classic it's like a classic perfume not like a classy perfume um so dolce gabbana light blue intense great great for summer and then the next one oh my god i wore chill sander sun and my husband was like this smell in here what's that smell like i was like is it the candle and i was like like no i don't like it and then it's like i was like i let him like smell my arm is it this and he's like yes and he sm he said it smells like like poopery from the 80s i'm like thank you thank you my favorite perfume chills in the sun and i mean i can understand that if you don't know you don't know like that you don't like this um, I've just known it for so long that I have such emotional like attachments to this perfume. Um, I love it and I think I said it before, I always recommend it, but it's it's not a safe blind buy at all. It's definitely like 80s, 90s perfume. It's a very heavy ambery perfume and when you spray it the first time it might be a little bit uriny. I know it sounds super gross, but like once it wears on the skin it wears beautiful. I think it's a very uh, mature feminine uh, perfume and I recommend it so much it's so affordable it lasts forever it lasts longer than some of the niche designer perfumes so um, definitely um, chill send the sun I enjoyed wearing it so much on that day and I could smell myself the whole day so that's what I wore and then uh, I also wore from uh, KKW oh my god it's much lighter so this is a KKW, I think this is Silver Hearts, it's like a limited edition like most of her perfumes and I put the notes right here. I think it's a very unisex perfume, very fresh summery perfume and I told myself I just want to go through my 30ml bottles, I just want to go through them and I've sprayed so much on that day, it definitely doesn't last for a very long time, I've always sprayed two times throughout the day. Uh, it is a little bit sharp, so you have to be careful if you have sinus problems. Sinus problems. Um, so yeah, it's it's nice, but I would not repurchase. I mean, I don't think it's available anymore. So, KKW Silver Heart, 
And the, other, the last one that I wore uh, within the last week was, gosh, the bottle is heavy to compare with the other one I just had. Uh, this is by uh, the brand Orentica and Rouge. I think it's a sister brand from Al Haramein. It's not exactly like Baccarat Rouge 540. I mean, what do I else do I else have to say? I have a review on this one. In every time I open my glass cabin where I have my perfumes in there, I smell this. I just smell it. It's so strong. Don't overspray this one. But if you're looking for a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, look no further because this one is it. Got it for under $50 on Mercari. So yeah, I think you can uh, get it on Amazon as well. So before my camera overheats again, I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, I hope uh, that you enjoyed this video. Again, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I don't know why I always do that. <laughs> I don't know why. So yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.